the one time I don't get a shot of somebody loading a sled. All right, take them all out, start again. Good morning. Yeah, it's a cold morning here in November in Alberta. The sleds are getting loaded up today. Are they going to the mountains? No, because we have a better and even more special surprise for you guys. I am frozen. We have the Alpha Turbo and old Mighty Whitey ready to get loaded up onto the back of the dually. Guess what I have not done yet? I have not fixed that shock. I have actually replaced this idler wheel because you guys remember the shock falling out of the side? Why did that happen? Good catch on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Take the wrong pull the shock out. Got it. I have not done that yet, uh, but we're gonna get to that right away because once we get that fixed, we actually have uh, all sorts of other goodies here uh, for the turbo that are gonna be going on. But before we get these sleds loaded up this fine morning, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, helps out a lot and we have a lot of fun here. Let's get these sleds loaded up. Let's start our day. How about that? Two pulls for the turbo. Dooly, 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 dooly. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Ah, you warm up a little bit. Think about what you've done. Oh, yeah. These are important today. You ever seen one of these before? I, uh, a rear a rear super clamp. Not very many of them around, actually. Not a lot of people use them, but hey, we need them today. It's light out, and uh, we're not moving. So Sean would say we're late, but uh, we still got to get like the crew loaded up here. Hey, where's the crew at? You know what you coming with? <laughs> oh my god, you dogs are such dogs. <laughs> we just have the sleds on the back because they are a little more than glorified measuring tapes. Uh, because we have to size out something at Sean's place today. And we need enough sleds to do it. So we got the turbo on there and the white one. It's going to link up with the rest of the sleds. Uh, so that we can size this thing out. And we can have a wicked setup for hauling sleds this winter. Before that, of course, we have to drop the kids off at the grandparents. Big dog. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, okay, we're done with the rodeo. Let's get this big old her moving. What is that? Oh God, I can hear him already. What up, Rack? Hey, I can hear you from outside. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> As usual. What are you doing over there? I'm cutting the container for some diesel. That's your diesel container? Yeah, we're gonna wipe that out. That what do you got here, Sean? Mm -hmm. This? Yeah. Grant's bought this diesel heater. What's the diesel heater for? That's for that trailer outside. Oh, we get a trailer? Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Filling up that little jug of diesel so we can try our heater. Can you reach the handle there, little fella? Alright, I want to see it go everywhere here. It's not even purple fuel. Not much diesel in there. It's all foam. That's pretty fancy. What, the trailer? Yeah. It's nice, eh? It's a little better than the other one over there, huh? Well, it's got more, honestly, not even better. It, that it's one has more, a lot of charm. It's headroom. Yeah, you like head. <laughs> that's what you've been complaining about for years. Oh, fuck. I say this. Listen to her go. It's blowing some stuff. So you can fucking figure out how to set the timer and shit. <laughs> this is some Sunday morning excitement for yeah. us. Yeah. See if the diesel heater works. Sunday morning with the beer and the smoke all ready to go. Hey! Four minutes fucking late. It said 10 o'clock on the text message. Yeah. So it was too low. Oh, you got a tip now. 
We're plugged in here. I know. Don't drop them fucking yeah, skates on the extension cord. He's in a big hurry to fire my sled up and load it. Big hurry to make a big fire here. Yeah. It's okay, it's still cold out. We got some foam anyway. Probably wouldn't. I was gonna mention that, but Water. we're good. We're good. I hey, I offered to take it out and fill it up, and Big Sean is like, "You want to fill it right away?" <laughs> yes, oh. that a girl. That's a good sound. She's taking off. No, nope. oh, yeah, she's like, "I don't have enough fuel." Is she getting warm now? Yeah. Out the door. How many pulls? One, two. Just like the turbo. They're smoking. <laughs> smoking. Ooh. Yeah. Forward first, and then stop. Right up here. What are we trying to do here, Sean? We're trying to fit five in this. What, this is 24 foot with the V. Mm -hmm. so the goal is to put five sleds in our brand spanking new trailer. What are you complaining to me about? Nothing yet. Super clamp hooks? No! Untie my sleds, Mr. Chow. Okay, we'll Untie my snowmobiles, please. <laughs> It wouldn't really matter. You could put that one in backwards, I think, in the middle. Drive. But you have to drive the other two in first. Back one in here. Let's see what we got going on. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. His his sled must not be centered then. Yeah, I think it's a little off to the right. And your tunnel's that. cut though, right? My tunnel's cut. So you yeah. can go back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, your track's cut to the door. Ben's thing is. Oh, I see. Ben's is over more though. Okay, next one. That's a lot of kitty up there. I know. Look at all the kitties. <laughs> I, bet you, I bet you. I bet you that do, that dually is probably Ben's squatted. Ben's driving the last two in two. We can get out of it. Well, is it? Well, you could go in too far for sure. If right? you straddle, you can't really straddle skis. Well, you could, yeah. Either yeah. way. Okay, well, let's fire, let's fire two more in. Mike. Try, try it forward. I have a 155. Yeah, so you're the same as mine. Short track. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Got all to do it. Hey. Full speed ahead. Full speed. Yeah. So that is your issue, the ski tips, we can't move you. You need another fucking half a foot back here. Yeah, you don't need much. Alright, take them all out, start again. Oh, of course, the one time I don't have the camera going. <laughs> the one time I don't get a shot of somebody loading a sled. I just want to tell you, you get halfway up the ramp. Halfway? Yeah. Good for you! Although that's been bad for years. Oh, I forget how loud that is! Put that kind of a Fuck, I forget how loud that is. Take him out. Put him in. Try again. Third time is the charm, everybody. Barely. Four inches. Holy! I like this energy we got going. I like this. You guys like this? Yeah. Somebody setting up our trailer? Huh? <laughs> now you send a picture to Wade and, like, and Mike, and be like, there you go. There's a picture of all of them in there. But as long as the super clamp is anywhere on the ski, right? 
Like it doesn't hook you want them out a little bit from the wall? So you can our trailer? This is it. This is our new trailer? Yeah. Good job, buddy. That little, that, that awesome guy still can't stand up in here. He's still got well, the he's like seven. <laughs> ah, no kidding. Eh? Uh, score one for the short guys. This is going to get used to it. His head's going to be like this forever. Yeah, we managed to fit five of our sleds in here, which was the goal. We still got room in the middle there. It's not bad. Yeah. Hey. But, uh, no opinion. First thing in the morning, just wait. You know? Hold on a sec. Um, yeah, eventually put a toolbox up here, a low profile toolbox with some pegs that when the lid folds down or whatever folds up, yeah. folds everything on the peg board from falling off and then maybe a carrier for some spare oils and shit like that. Yeah, it'd be nice to have like a nice little shop area in here that we could bring a sled up and... Yeah, the heater's on and you gotta work on something after hours or... Yeah, so we're just kinda... We're figuring out where super clap holes go. Yeah, cause we want this set up so it's easy peasy and we also have a heater to install that thing we've been screwing with yeah are we gonna figure out your alpha for the rear clamp uh the alpha does not compatible with rear clamp see i was thinking we can build something that goes Might have to. that saddles over top of the the, the rail Dude. and sits down on the track and then just that your seat all you need is like the... almost like a two by four That's what or I was something thinking, a two by four or something just that it can latch onto like a rail that holds your track down it yeah it doesn't have to latch to the rail that's all it needs yeah it just needs to sit in between here which a two by four and edge probably i wonder if you could get even just uh super clamp just to grab the track as is i don't know it's a three inch track i mean it sits up pretty high yeah it might grab it well you just laid something in there it's super easy because it'll sit nicely in between the driver cogs here yeah you set something in there that your super clamp can bite onto and boom we good to go yeah we'll figure but it out we'll figure it out well, you know, well i guess it can't move there mapping where the clamp rails are gonna go you want an easy setup in here huh yes. i don't like fucking around when it's cold out <laughs> you're gonna have a heater so it's not gonna be cold and you want to measure it distance wise, front to back, or you know what? Matt is the one who marked this out. Yeah. Maybe we should, thing. he should just do the whole we thing. We to break down this door. Hello, like that. come in. That door's never been opened before. There's an even carbide mark on it. No. Cool. What I was telling Matt is that we don't want to invest in super glides right now. We can just cut strips of cheap plywood and screw it down and just beat the crap out of that with the carbide. That's true. And then I've got some super glides I would donate. Yeah. Not a whole lot, but I got some. To make it square, it's not Well, the fucking D-rings move. I just marked it. Okay, so then we're gonna make it symmetrical just so it looks better. Have a beer and shut the fuck up. <laughs> Don't draw on the camera lens, please, Mr. Chow. Yeah. Jiffy on the right line. I mean, it probably only needs to that long. Look at all the guys planning stuff out in here. And then you got the welder, right? Putting in a little extra effort because we don't want to be swearing no. too much when we're out there. No, as you know, our old trailer had a really good super clamp setup. <laughs> <laughs> when you upgrade, you just want to bring those fucking things with you sometimes. You know, those, uh, those creature comforts. Just on a better level. Just to keep a guy going, eh? That's a Ming Wow job. That's carpentry stuff. You hear that, Benjamin? Yeah. Ming Wow had this thing solid. Miss Brezel's a pig. Look at all the dirty <laughs> left. <laughs> So now we have everything marked out and we can start work on the trailer. Yeah. Isn't that right, Mr. Chow? Oh, yeah. Everyone's here. Is this like the going away party for the trailer? Yeah, who wants to buy it? <laughs> on sale for ten ninety nine. Oh, Ooh, so fun. cheap. Ten thousand. That's less than you paid for the other trailer. I happen to know that. Never mind. I'm gonna miss that old girl. What? That thing. Why? You're fucking gonna cut the handle off, dude. No. What? Why don't you trip me? Well, oh, that oh, seal, eh? <laughs> there. Door. Door is check. Weather stripping has been pinched in there for a while, huh? Ah, the trailer left before I could do the outro. 
Um, yeah, that is what we have for rigging this year. We're gonna spend some time getting a few of those other things together uh, that need to put on it. But until then, thanks everybody for watching this video. Riding season is upon us. And uh, you know what? We'll see everybody in the next one. Subscribe please to the channel. Bye everybody.